Hey everybody, it is Bug Week at Leap, and today we are reading The Grouchy Ladybug. Can you think of something that makes you grouchy? Not getting to see you guys in our lead classes makes me pretty grouchy. All right, but before we read the book, let's do our welcome song. And today I am so excited to present Sophie singing our welcome song. Take it away, Sophie. Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself all up. I can stand up all on you. I can listen, so can you. I used to sit, I saw you out. Story time is starting now. Woohoo! That was perfect, Sophie. Thank you so much for doing that for us. Okay. The Grouchy Ladybug. You don't really think of ladybugs as grouchy, do you? It was night, and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. These tiny little bugs are called aphids. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. My goodness. That is very grouchy. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out its long front legs. Ho, oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? 
If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. Ooh, yikes. At 12 o'clock, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. My goodness. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug a slap. That it flew across the sea and across the land. There he is, so tiny. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, you're here again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There is still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered the ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. The end. All right, so the lesson is, if someone wants to share and be kind, the right thing to do is to share with them and be kind back. Okay, let's sing a little bug song. Okay, so you should have your little wand with the bug on it. And this song has a bunch of different bugs. So even if we're not singing about the bug on your wand, you can still act it out with your bug. Okay, here we go. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Bumblebees buzz, they buzz over here, they buzz over there. 
They buzz really high and they buzz really low. Around and around and around they go. They buzz really fast and they buzz really slow. Oh, buzz, buzz, buzz. Bumblebees buzz. Okay, what else do some of you have? Let's see. Butterfly, and what do butterflies do? They flutter, so here we go. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Butterflies flutter. They flutter over here. They flutter all over there. They flutter really high and they flutter really low. Around and around and around they go. They flutter really fast and they flutter slow. Oh, flutter, flutter, flutter. Butterflies flutter. So when we do this, my friends, I want to make sure you're taking your wand from one side of your body all the way to the other side of the body. And you can imagine there's a line going all the way down and you're going to go on this side of the line and this side of the line. Okay, let's do one more. What about, oh, I have a ladybug. Ladybugs fly. Here we go. Fly, fly, fly. Ladybugs fly. They fly over here. They fly over there. They fly really high and they fly really low. Around and around and around they go. They fly really fast and they fly very slow. Fly, fly, fly. Ladybugs fly. All right, and you guys can keep going on with that song with the other bugs that are on the newsletter or you can even think of your very own bugs and think what they would do. If you want, you can set your wand down and you can actually move your whole body like the bug you are singing about. Okay, time for an art project. Let's make a paper plate ladybug. So you have your paper plate, some little black dots, some little black rectangles, and two googly eyes. So you just need some red paint and glue, and that's it. So we're gonna start off by putting a little bit of red paint on your plate. You don't need too much. And if you go ahead and add the glue now to the red paint, it'll help everything stick to the plate and you won't have to add it later. Now that my plate is covered, I'm going to add my eyes next so that I make sure that I have room for them. And they are gonna go down here at the bottom. There we go. Now a ladybug has six legs and you have eight strips. So we're gonna go ahead and add the legs first. Three on, <clears throat> each side of the eye. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you have two left over. Okay, you can try to do this so you can ask a parent to help, but at the very end, you're just barely gonna curl over the little piece right at the end. And we're gonna stick those right above the eyes. And those are his little curly Q antenna. Okay, now we can add his spots. So I think you have three in your bag. So we are gonna do one, two, three, you can put them wherever you want. And now we have 
a slightly grumpy ladybug. Okay, I am going to do the goodbye song today and I brought my friend Bud. And he's just gonna sit with us while we do it. He's not actually gonna do it. Here we go. Touch the stars. Touch your toes. Turn up. <laughs> That's all good. Touch your nose. Wave down low and wave up high. All right, bud. Now it's time to say goodbye. All right, friends, we will be back next week.